right, let's see, how much is this? $2.99, yes, we have like, we probably have different people <laughs> pricing here. Um, I'll save that, I'll have to remember that I'm not so sure about it, but I see another vintage back here. Okay, this looks so nice. And then down at the bottom, we see the Crown Trifari. So late 50s into the 60s. Oh yes, we're gonna get this all day. Oh, this is such a nice piece. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, AKA Lilyworks, And today I am at St. Vincent de Paul. We are going to be shopping for both hard goods and antiques and vintage and goodness. Also jewelry, you guys are here for the jewelry. Um, they actually have jewelry behind the glass and also jewelry hanging up, and I usually find some cool vintage pieces. So, if that interests you at all, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Also, if you're not already subscribed to my other channel, that one is called Lilyworks Antiques and Collectibles. That, I'm gonna be showing you the other part of this video where I get hard goods. So, let's go shopping. <music> Okay, so I filled up, this is my second cart of hard goods, you guys. So I'm gonna do the regular um, non-voiceover for the jewelry video. I'm just gonna pause the video right here to make an announcement that all the jewelry you see me pick up in this video is going to be a part of my first district live sale on April 5th. So. If you could do me a big favor, make sure you're a part of the Lilyworks Jewels and Lots on District. I will have the link in the comment section down below. And I'm really excited to do my first live jewelry sale. So get ready uh, for that. Um, the music is a little bit less loud. So we're gonna see if we can find any. There's some jewelry that's behind the glass and then there's some that's just right out here which is awesome. So this looks very vintage with the bamboo frame, but they are, they feel lightweight, so not like a Monet or anything. So yeah, these are not signed. Um, sometimes, if I remember, they might have the clip-on earrings more towards the checkout. Ooh, these look like little gold dipped, um, what are these called? <laughs> Sand dollar. Those are cute. $5.99. Now there are no discounts. This store doesn't do any sort of discount whatsoever. These are absolutely amazing. $1.99? These feel nice. <laughs> these feel really nice. Yeah, these are awesome. Like some kind of brassy metal artisan um, funky thing going on. And then look at these. These are pretty cool. Hammered metal, copper, and these might possibly be sterling silver. Just really polished. They have a nice thick hook. Okay, $1.99, we'll grab those. And um, if you wanted to see the hard goods video, go ahead and check out my new YouTube channel, Lilyworks Antiques and Collectibles. I do a lot of the hard goods over there. We have some lever backs. These look like little vintage studs. Vintage acrylic white. These feel like a little bit heavier, so let's see. Sometimes when it's heavier, it could be like a higher quality vintage designer. Ooh, I see some faux amber up there, or faux turquoise maybe, but very like haute couture nonetheless. Let's see, nothing there. These are only $1.99, so that's a good, good thing here. We're gonna grab these. No matter what, like these are awesome for $1.99, yay. Let me put that in this cup here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Guys, I hit the mother load of things for hard goods today. We have cufflinks here, like faux hematite. Look on the inside for the brand. Ooh, these are very tarnished. So we're just gonna move that down here. More clip-ons, yay. These are also $1.99 for like just these balls. I like them as well. Put those in there. 
more clippies with rhinestone halo and those are missing some pearls but they might be crown trifari so we'll we'll see 3.99 that will be a no and then what are you not marked really okay so not grab those moving on Ooh, more clippies these are sarah coventry four dollars just plain we will leave those are these porcelain or wood i think those are just wood these are some puffy gold tone. There is wear on them, but I'm gonna check the back. Ooh, so, so not okay. These might be Avon, but very, very dirty. Not even going to mess with that. I think earrings are like my favorite thing to go through. Earrings and brooches, they're small. They're vintage for the most part, like clip-on earrings and stuff, screw back earrings. All right, I'm gonna have to put a pile over here for earrings I need to fix after I record. Okay, we have these clippies, acrylic, stars. Ooh, what are these? We'll grab those behind here. These big faux pearl cabochon. And are they marked? They're $1.99. And I'm not sure if they're marked back there, but they feel they feel high quality and nice. Again, $1.99. We like that. <laughs> okay, moving on here. We have these ginormous like faux Moby Pearl. These are an all-day yes. If well, what are they? $3.99. Ooh, are they all day yes? They're not marked that I can see. But they're just so we're gonna grab them. They're so like such a great statement piece. I think they would be desirable for a lot of people. These look like sterling and stone. Little hoopies. $2.99. Uh, oh, ooh. See, I like these better right here. These are the porcelain. They're not a lot of money. Let me move my cart for you. Um, they're not a lot of money, but I absolutely adore them. They have like a really pretty iridescence. These are really pretty. Hmm, not marked there. I'm looking on the sides of the hooks to see if there's any like, you know, where it could say numbers or gold or something. It's 925, these are some Moon Glow Thermoset, these are awesome. And they are screw backs. Yes, they look very um, St. Patrick's Day. That is so cute. All right. We have, is this a Monet bangle here? Moving that one up. Ugh, it's so worn and it is a Monet. We're gonna leave it. That is very worn. And ooh, look at these French jet screwbacks. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Not marked, but I love them. French jet screwbacks. Faceted black glass. <clears throat> love that. Okay, these are some funky hoops. All right, moving down. All right, once we're to the necklaces, I either look for high quality, maybe like a tag dangle. We have some bracelets as well. Oh, this one looks kind of cool with the cabochon, so let's move that over. What is this? Matte gold tone. It's kind of fabulous. Eh, we'll get that one. That one's kind of fantastic. <laughs> Someone's gonna love it. Um, and it has a lot of keywords that I can use for it. Is this one marked? Yes. Okay, what do we see? I'm gonna have to zoom in, you guys. What does it say right there? Does it say gold fill? GF maybe? Yeah, gold filled. So it says 12K gold filled, and this is a um, swing. Little swing gold filled vintage guy. We will get that one. It's fun to see like women's jewelry or unisex jewelry with the swank logo the swank logo is that like pentagon looking 
mark with the S inside of it. This is like a Lucite chunky bangle. Stretch, stay away from stretch as much as I can, like just purchasing it. I see some really pretty pearls back here. I think they look full pearls, but let's take a closer look. Yeah, I mean they're delicate, but pretty sure those are full. And then, oh, pottery earrings. How sweet are those? Again, I love the pottery. Those are so cute. $2.99. Oh, are they that cute? Yeah, we'll get them. They're so stinking adorable. Okay. Bracelets. Oh, this is Monet. Let's see. Looking on the inside. Nope, this is just like a mid-century bangle with that optic look. That's really pretty though. But we're gonna leave it. Rhinestone link bangle. Yeah. Alright, we're going down to the necklaces. I think I've sold this one before except it wasn't painted. It took a while. So I'm gonna leave that one. Ooh, I see something it says napier okay we have a vintage gold tone napier ball vintage necklace how much are you $5.99 all right we're gonna this might be a maybe not completely sold on it but I definitely can make money on it just I don't know if it would sit for a while it is a nice like that nice gold tone that's pretty popular right now Okay, so I do see a vintage clasp, but this whole thing is worn, so we'll leave that. Plastic, um, chaps. Ooh, what is this right in front of my face? <gasps> this is all glass, beautiful beads. Oh, hoo, 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 I love this. You have a clasp. I wonder if it's back behind maybe? No? Maybe it's an over the head? But let's see. How much is this? $2.99. Yes, we have like, we probably have different people <laughs> pricing here. Um, I'll save that. I'll have to remember that I'm not so sure about it, but I see another vintage back here. Okay, this looks so nice. And then down at the bottom, we see the Crown Trifari. So late 50s into the 60s. Oh yes, we're gonna get this all day. Oh, this is such a nice piece. A mesh twisted like rope chain. Okay, that one was super exciting. We have these vintage, oh look at those yellow baubles. That's fun. Looking for pieces that could stand out. These are faux rice pearl. They are so light. The barrel clasp. I see another hang tag sugar fix. It's modern. And okay, let's move on over here. Is this Sarah Coventry? I see a triangle hang tag here. Yeah, Sarah Coventry. And this is all just plastic. So not too exciting. It is vintage. Um, a lot of these are all vintage, but just like baubles. And then maybe a New York and Company in there. That long hang tag. Okay. Anything standing out to us? Is this milk glass? Yes. This feels like white milk glass. And no maker on it. It is vintage. Alright, this one. Ooh. This says Trifari and it's dainty, which is interesting. Little cream enamel. Not super exciting, but let's also see another vintage bye -bye. Japan box clasp. $1.99. So this Trifari it's not Crown Trifari, it's $1.99. I think I'm going to leave that one. 
Oh wait, nope, here it is. $3.99, yep, we're gonna leave it. Okay, and then last. Okay, this is the chunky chunky. We have a school necklace. And then we have a parrot. And a domino with like decoupage on the back. These might be headbands that you tie. Did I go through this one already? All right, let's keep moving. And we have more earrings here. So let's see, screw back. No mark. These look like some clip-ons. Avon, I believe. Yeah, I, I've sold these before. Like a basket weave Avon. Ooh, look at these down here. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Look at their like iridescent pearls. Ooh, clip-ons. $3.99, we'll grab those. Oh, there's elephants on these. Little button earrings. Interesting. Okay, we have a gold tone basket. These are pretty awesome. $1.99. Let's see. I don't see anything, but I think these are will be in fashion for a long time. I'm going to grab these. Nice gold tone color. Oh, don't want to lose the little piece here. All right, what else do we see on this side? We see studs, more. There's some shell clip-ons. Doesn't say anything on the back. Ooh, are these more glass? No, these feel like acrylic. Not French jet. Do, do, do. What are these? Oh, these are just very worn. These are some clip-ons, but super, super worn. Okay, turning. Okay. Are these horn? I think these are horn. You can see. Or are these ivory? Ivory has the crisscross called cross hatching. Hmm. We will just leave those. I have no idea. Okay. More interesting screw backs, button screw backs. These are just carved acrylic, but I'm wondering, hmm, are they bakelite? We'll get, we'll get them because they might be bakelite. You guys, they might be. I just I just thought about that right now. More lucite studs. These are kind of pretty. Not marked. <laughs> All right, clip-ons. These say um, Napier. Okay, I'm not gonna get these, but do you guys remember where it would say JJC and it was in the same shape as the Monet clip backs, right? Found out that th those are Napier. So Napier, the newer Napier also uses the same like shape to their back afterthoughts. All right, I think we're done here. I'm happy with these. And then I'm going to go over to that side over there, look at jewelry, and then I'll look at some behind the counter. Okay, so we only have like, <clears throat> we only have bracelets here. Yeah, this doesn't say anything. Anything barn. So what you look for, well first of all you can tell. Alright, so let's see. I'm gonna see if I think I wanna grab that one out right there, that brooch. And looks like there's rings down there, all costume. This actually looks super pretty. It has the vintage double strand plastic probably pearls. Though those are really pretty though. Oh, Star Trek collectible box. <laughs> That's fun. Okay. Moving over and we're in the brooches. So I'm probably just going to have them take out these trays for me. Yeah, we'll just look at the backs of those. And then more rings right here. 
Maybe I'll have them take, mm, mm, yeah, maybe I'll have them take these out. Okay, so the first thing I see here is this little one, $2.99, enamel on metal. That one's awesome, I like that one. We have some bar brooches, let's see. This one is $3.99, that's a faux cameo. This one is Sarah Coventry, $2.99. This one is not sterling. Ooh, look at this little tiny one. With the faux seed pearls. What does this say? $2.99. That's cute. Okay. Fish. It's interesting. Ooh, look at this. Yes. No mark, but look at how elegant this looks. Yes. That one is a definite yes. Okay, no maker, no maker. Yeah, it's a big chunky, chunky thing. Got it. This. Oh, it's a little um, scarf clip, maybe. Little kitty with the, with little ball. That's cute. It says Napier, I believe. I believe that's what it says right there. We'll grab that one. That one's super adorable. This one looks modern. Is it? Yeah, Liz Claiborne, LC, right there. This one's pretty. Oh, you here? I didn't know you was here. Nope, no maker right there. Another stick pin. It's so pretty. It's enamel on metal again. I like that. <clears throat> okay, what is this? This looks really fun. I don't see this color often in brooches. So I've had an ear infection. <laughs> I'm just very prone to ear infections and I'm just getting over it um, and it sounds like when I talk it sounds like hollow in my head <laughs> so it sounds super funny we know what this is there we go this is the Swarovski Swan lapel pin grab that one dogs bar pin oh this feels so delicate so delicate. Yeah. Little cat. We have a Damascene. Yes, with the with the tube hinge. And this one is what is this called again? What shell? I forget what shell, but we'll grab it. $2.99. They make this style with different types of stones like jade, things like that. This looks like stainless steel. Pewter? What are you? It says, ooh, Sweden. Look at you guys. Something, something Sweden. Definitely grab that one. That's awesome. All right, let's make sure. Ooh, look at this cat. $2.99. And what are you? Jerry's. It's a Jerry's cat. That's so cool. We'll get it. We'll get that one. Matt Gold Leaves. Oh, look at these little guys. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, did we look at every single thing? Pottery? I mean, I know you guys are looking at this and you're like, that's so pretty, but it's still kind of getting worn and it's not really well made. So I'm just going to go through here one more time. Make sure, ooh, <gasps> maybe this is a Kremens. Let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Premence um, usually marks it on the stick. So, I don't know. I'll Google Lens this one though. So we'll see. Make sure I'm not leaving anything behind. Is this one pewter? No. Okay. Good thing I checked. Again, even the little, little baby little baby thing. Let's see. Do you say anything? 
No, doesn't. Really cute though. All right, you guys, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Be sure to, to um, go ahead and subscribe to my sister channel, Lily Works Antiques and Collectibles. And I think we're around 200 now, 200 subscribers. So go ahead and hit the subscribe. Let me know that you subscribed. Comment down below. Also, I'm still wearing that beautiful ring. If you guys know anything about it, let me know. It's like a hammered copper with enamel over it. There's no writing in the inside, but super, super pretty. And the hard goods haul was epic. Big. So this is going to be a place I want to go to frequently. So yeah, make sure you go check that out and I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you guys are thrifting so you guys can live generously. Bye guys. A huge shout out to all the Patreon members for supporting both YouTube channels and our Lily Works Facebook community. Come on over to our new selling platform called district.net. We have two stores. One is called Lily Works Antiques and Collectibles. The other is Lily Works Jewels and Lots. Become a member. You can also become a seller. Also, if you're interested in anything you see from this video or reseller merge, go ahead and head over to lilyworksreseller.com where you can find different collections for sale. Also, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye!